lakini kadri wanavyozidi kuzungumza viongozi wanasema kwamba baadhi ya viongozi katika eneo la mlima Kenya wamejitosa katika kuhakikisha kwamba kuna migawanyiko ya eneo hili tutakumbuka kwamba kumezuka migawanyiko upande mmoja baadhi ya wananchi katika eneo hilo wakimshabikia naibu wa rais Lamruto na wengine wakiwa upande wa rais Uhuru Kenyatta na wito unaotolewa kwa sasa ni kuhakikisha kwamba eneo hili lina muunga mkono rais Uhuru Kenyatta hadi atakapokamilisha hatamu zake za uongozi ili kuhakikisha kwamba ametimiza ajenda zake Mtazamaji tunazidi kukuletea picha za moja kwa moja pamoja na taarifa za moja kwa moja kutoka eneo la Kenul ambapo ni baada ya mazishi inayoendelea katika eneo hili na viongozi mbalimbali mbali, wanazidi kutoa taarifa zao kuhusiana na yale ambayo ya rejiri. Anaizungumza kwa sasa ni gavana wa kaunti ya Kiambu James Nyoro. Tumsikize ana yapi ya kusema yema wazee wa kikuyu kanzu of elders wazee wa kiyama kiyama familia ambao imeifiwa ime watu wote ambao wamekuja chulinjeke wote ambao wako hapa ningetaka kuwasalimia adhuri ya leo na nibaambie niko na furaha sana kuwakaribisha katika kiambu hata kama tuko na usudi na kwa sababu nimeambiwa alipewa ruhusa ni mkaribishe aliyekuwa gavana wa kwanza wa kiambu aseme jambo ningetaka kumkaribisha aseme jambo alafu mimi nitatuma risala yangu baada ya yeye kuwasalimia
Lakini kwa sababu ya wingi wa kura zetu. Lakini ikifika miaka mitano wakati wa kura ndio wageni wanaanza kukimbia hapa kutawatawanya. Aenda tena mbele kwenu chama. Ne kugati mtirato mete asio marare bodo. Oroa gudi bodo ne oroa mugu kupita kene oroa mrade na gemani tanete magesali ata siao siarosio. Na hatu da kubali. Sisi hatuwezi kuletewa kiongozi na muti yeyote. Na tunajua kukataa. Wakati Moi, mzee Moi mwenda zake, alituletea mwishima uhuru kenyata tu tu wa Kenya walikataa. Lakini wakati mzee uhuru wa mejipanga, asa unaniharakisha jundugu. Unajua sina nafasi mingi ya kusema lakini intaheshimu. Nasema tutajipanga. Wege wito not taage kuyo. Olea woka tuzikirelie. Ato heo horo nadhie. Maga nene roe. Olea woka ato heo horo. No hale ya mudhia. Aterele. Mutaka kuhatia hapa nisende koleni sana. Na kwa hawa jamii hizi. Zimbili. Mimi tajitolea kusaidiana na wawo ili wazazi wao na wale ambao wamezaliwa na wao waweze kupata nafasi. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Uh, asante sana. Asante sana uh, bwana Kapogo. Mimi yangu itakuwa machache kama vile nimesema ya kwanza ni kuwakaribisha katika Kiambu County kwa hii ceremony ya kuaga hawa vijana wetu wawili nikitaka kushukuru uh, gema uh, kanzo of elders na wazee wote ambao wamekusanya hapa ili tuseme kwa heri kwa hawa vijana ningetaka kutumba risala yangu ya rabilambi yangu jamii yangu na watu wote wa Kiambu ambao wako na husuni sana kwa hawa vijana wa hapa kwetu Kiambu hata kama tunajua mahali wali pata hiyo accident haikukuwa Kiambu kwa hivyo tungetaka kutumba hiyo risala ya rabilambi kwa familia familia wanajua tumesimama na wao chairman tumewatembelea tulifutilia bili yote ya mochele tukasema wasilipe na tukaongea mazishi ikiisha tutakaa chini bibi yule aliwachwa na hiyo family nyingine itatupea kijana mwingine tutawapea kazi kwa county ili waweze kusaidia waweze kusaidia family hizo na tutaenda pamoja na nyinyi mimi jabu la mwisho ni kusema hivi tungewish kama ndi sisi tunaurizwa na vijana wetu na watu wetu ya Mount Kenya tusikie damu ambao tunajua ilimwagika kwa nchi hii ilikuwa ya kupigania uhuru na ndio tuko na hiyo uhuru wa kujitawala mzungu akaondoka tuseme kutoka leo tena vijana damu yetu ya vijana wetu ambao tunaweza kuwatuma kwa vita somali na mahali pengine isimwagike tena kwa sababu ya kiti au viti tujaribu vile tunafanya tushikane na hawa wazee tushikane na serikali na viongozi tuwatafutie kazi lakini kazi ya shiriki miatano, mia ine, tuseme ni hapana damu yetu hapa Kiambu na Mount Kenya haitamwagika tena kwa sababu ya siasa. Mimi nitakombea hapo niseme ni asante sana tutatembea pamoja na nyinyi wazee sasa mchukue unity yenu ili mtuelekeze mbele ili siasa yetu iwe ni ile siasa bora ya wakati huu na wakati unaokuja asanti sana na Mungu awabariki
Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, uh, for being brief. We are now going to hear the speech uh, from uh, Bishop Lawi Matthew. Alikuwa ametuma huyu mzee amejificha hapa nyuma simama wa kutambuli wa kujue huyu ndiye Titus Ibui ndio uh, chairman eh hapana chairman kule chini kwa the one you chair Lapset he is the chairman for Lapset ametoka kule Meru na ndiye bishop alikuwa anataka asome lakini sauti imepotea kidogo Ako na kijana yake hapa ambaye ni executive officer kule kwa Mount Kenya Foundation bwana Frank Mutuma na ndiye pia CEO wa the NGO Council ambaye atatusomea hiyo hotuba Frank karibu hmm. Asante sana daktari Abaseda Karau Hii ni taarifa ya chairman wa Ngema uh, bishop Lawi Imadio. Bishop Imadio is the former presiding bishop of the Methodist Church in Kenya and also he was the president of the Methodist Church in the world. Message of condolences and call for national sobriety and peace. On behalf of the Executive Council of the Gema Cultural Association, GCE, its organs and the Mount Kenya communities, and on my own behalf, I take this opportunity to bring our condolences to the families of Richard Kihugi Budu and Jonah Mungai following the tragic and untimely death of their children, Peter Bodu and Christopher Karioki, respectively, on the 14th of October 2020. The senseless deaths occurred at Keno, Moranga County, as a result of skirmishes perpetrated by competing political players. We are saddened that the two years before the 2022 elections, our politicians have chosen to whip up the political emotions of Kenyans to a level which makes them appear a matter of life and death. This has cheapened the lives of the very people they claim to seek, to serve, and, and lead. Whereas well, the elections will be a national event, we are concerned that the Mount Kenya region has received a disproportionate interest from ambitious politicians positioning for leadership in the forthcoming elections. As leaders of our communities, which have numerous legitimate socio-political interests, we inform the Mount Kenya people in particular, and all Kenyans in general, that this drama is not serving the interests, but it's intended to serve some selfish leaders' interests. In the meantime, the lives of our people are endangered and their economic activities disrupted. In the past, citizens whose origins are in Mount Kenya but live in the Kenyan diaspora have been attacked, killed, displaced, and their property and their property and livelihoods destroyed as political emotions and anger are expressed. This has happened repeatedly in the past, hurting our community. You all remember the climax of this violence, the 2007-2008 post-election violence where our people were attacked in various parts of this country, these memories are still fresh in our minds. We appreciate the peace prevailing in Kenya and the goodwill being enjoyed across the land. However, we take great exception to the veiled threats that have been issued by reckless politicians, some on camera, with clearly, which, which are clearly aimed at intimidating the Mount Kenya people and their diaspora. We have received reports that there are sales of young people in some communities in Kenya which are being created and possibly getting trained with the aim of perpetrating violence when the electioneering period begins in earnest. We urge law enforcers to be vigilant, collect intelligence in lobastry, and take measures against those who may be planning political mischief to play empty the kind of crisis we have witnessed before. Coming closer home, GCA, that is Gema, and our community are highly offended that the evil perpetrated against us in the cities and other areas now appears to be directed into our region by mobilizing, weaponizing, and funding our own youth to create a civil war amongst our own people. The political rhetoric, utilizing art and music, all aimed at radicalizing our youth on the so-called Asla and the dynasty philosophy by some politicians 
all show the marks of a purposeful revolutionary plan. Impressions are being created that people who own assets, property, and resources, and resources are either cheated or were favored. So that, so what, what they own is public property that can be dispossessed. We all know that, is, that, that this is not the case. This incitement is a political strategy that threatens enterprise, hard work, thrift, savings and investment, which all members of our community aspire for. The despondency that this can create will only undermine the national long-term development goals. I have taken liberty to address these concerns at this funeral of these young men whose lives have been snuffed through political mischief in the hope that their deaths will be viewed with the gravity it deserves. They should be seen as symptoms of a wonder scheme that may play out more grievously as we near elections. I appeal, therefore, that the National Intelligence Service and the security machinery use this as an, as an invitation to interrogate the ensuing political rhetoric, schemings, designs, and mobilization so that we protect political and all other constitutional freedoms. Scenes of chaos and anarchy may not be allowed to blossom in the land. I also appeal that politicians from our area who have moved into political wings respect the right of the Mount Kenya communities to consult, caucus, and organize themselves in their unfolding political scenarios to crystallize their interests and determine their political path. The politicians should therefore sober up and wait for the appropriate time for such decisions to be made. Their personal interests and alignment should not be seen as expression of the community's choices. They should also stop to radicalize our youth and realize the elections are an event and not a reason to destabilize the old social order in the community and in the nation. To our youth, we love you and have a great faith in your future. I appeal to you to desist and refuse to be used as a political weapon by politicians who will never send their own children for the airlines they give you. You have a long life ahead of you that calls for hard work, discipline and diligence so that you can live with dignity and fulfill your dreams. Finally, we as a community mourn with these families that are believed. We have worked with them in preparation of the funerals and will support them going forward. May God use the blood shed by these young people to cause Kenyans to sit back and reevaluate our interests for peace, love, unity and national stability. May God bless you. Signed, Bishop Lawi Matthew. Chairman Gemma Cultural Association. Thank you. There will be copies for the media. Asante Sana. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Frank. Before I hand over to the clergy to lead us in the next part of the program, I would like to inform, this is inform, the people present here including my very good friend, His Excellency Governor Kabogo. The leadership of the community is here today, of Wazes. The group that was said to have gone elsewhere, when we were mourning, were reached out very earnestly it's not the time to do anything, but I was told it's just a visit. Now they are not here, or if they are here, they are still welcome. But I had introduced earlier the chairman of Kiama Kiama is chaired by two uh, very senior and very serious elders. There is Buana Kigoshi there. There is Buana Gaiduma. Where are you? Dungo Gaiduma, he just walked out. And then I had introduced Kimani Maigwa, who is the chairman of Gikuyu, in bracket, Kikuyu Council of Elders. And the first chairman was the late Jenga Karume. I was the first secretary. I still remain, and the treasurer was Buanapita Monga. That other group, we call them a club of nine. 
They are doing all that without any grassroots support. The grassroots membership is here today. I'm not standing to condemn anybody. We have welcomed them back home to work under the Secretariat of the Gema Community Institutions Center. I believe they are on the way. With that clarification, uh, Your Excellency, we can follow up the discussion if need be, but the genuine leadership is here today that goes all the way to the Meakis. And just to give you a good example, in my home county of Muranga, where painfully these young people died, just next to my home in Keno, I come from Kandara, we have, 40, uh, we have 77 Meakis. Uh, we are not aware of anybody in that group pretending to represent Muranga. We are not aware. The Nyeri chairman is also here. He can attest to the same. I will not speak any more than that, just to explain why the spirit of elders. When we had the chaos in 08, the Kalenjins came and told us, we want to talk to genuine Gema people. Who are they? Where are they? They were very well organized. I had to look from the Karume. I had to look for the others. And we got together and we started talking peace. I have served in the military for 24 years. I have also served in the United Nations as the Kenyan ambassador in Geneva. And I know the end result of peace, we always resort to Aziz. I introduced earlier the twin relationship between Kikuyu Council of Elders and Kiamakiama. Kiamakiama deals with our own internal cultural issues and provides cultural leadership. I introduced the elders of Matadi, the people who give Matadi. I introduced the Atonyi, the people who give advice, and the Agongoni who do the sacrifices. And there are very, very few in Kenya. I can assure you some of the ceremonies that have been done recently are not official. Again, I don't want to fight anybody. So the end result is Wazes coming to the table and discussing peace. And that's the role of Kikuyu Council of Elders. I can assure you, it's not a coincidence that all these people come from Nakuru. The three chairmen are from Nakuru. I spent three, four years in the Rift Valley discussing peace and looking for peace after 08. As a doctor, I never went back to my clinic for four years in pursuit of peace. Let's not take it for granted. You are hearing from an elder who has seen it all. In terms of leadership, there is no vacuum in Gemaland. There is no vacuum in, please, do you agree with me? President Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta is there. And when the Michuki moment comes, which was not just, just a pronouncement, when that moment comes, I know the history, I know the background of that statement. And when the moment comes, without pronouncing, without going on top of Mount Kenya to say anything, the leader will emerge. I think without so many words, we may go to Rimuru, we may not go there, but the leader will emerge and the community will make the decision as appropriate. So with those many words, I would like now to invite uh, Reverend Canon Karanja, who by the way, is the Chief Executive Officer of GEMA, Cultural Association. I handed over to him after the organization was founded, and now he's the one holding the mantle. He's also a man of color, so I'll ask him to read the rest of the program.
Thank you very much for listening to all of us. Thank you. Ambassador, we appreciate very much your leadership for that section. You can tell that I wasn't going to be that competent in handling that. I belong to the other elders that will take over now and lead us for the rest of the service. It will not be a long service from now because we've had the speeches. We'll sing a hymn to transition to the liturgical part of the service. As we do that, Jami, Tarisheni Nenani Watatusomea Eology. Zote Sikifuatana. Halafu, Mutatupatia Wale Amba Watatua Hutuba Mfupi. Hutuba Fupi, Kwaniaba ya Jami. Diosasa Tugia Katika Neno. Mudausio Mref Sana. Tumaliza ibada. Nitauliza zote tusimame kwa sababu mmeketu kwa muda mrefu. Tuipe wibu wapo mmechapisho katika program. Tigawale mwe na wakwa. Oke ndue rira. It's on the program. Just turn the pages. You'll find it. Let's stand and see. Band. Band.